Scientist Marcus Erickson is searching the Los Angeles River for potentially dangerous contaminants no bigger than a grain of salt. The tiny plastics or microbeads are common in face and body washes. Erickson says the beads soak up pesticides and chemicals after they're washed down the drain. So by the time the plastic gets downstream towards uh, the ocean, they become these little toxic pills. Up to 300,000 microbeads can be found in one tube of face scrub. Erickson believes many water treatment plants can't filter out the tiny plastics, allowing them to flow into the ocean or waterways where they can be mistaken for food. Big fish eat little fish, eventually the fish is on your dinner plate, and you're eating that fish along with all the toxins that are consumed along the way. The Environmental Protection Agency is looking into potential dangers after Erickson and his team uncovered high concentrations of microbeads in the Great Lakes. That's a suspicious particle. His search in the L.A. River also turned up what he believes are microbeads. But L.A. Sanitation's operations chief, Tracy Minamiti, says city crews took their own samples, including from this wastewater treatment plant which feeds the river. We found nothing. Um, the water is very clear. The beads can't get through our filters. Minamiti says this plant can sift out particles 20 times smaller than microbeads. But Erickson says across the country, most filters are not fine enough to stop microbeads from polluting waterways. Begachaban, CBS News, Los Angeles.